Welcome to the Statistic in ED YouTube channel. In today's video, I specifically address our markdown users and I want to convince you why you should switch to Quarto and why you should do so now and not postpone it to some um, unknown point in the future. I do admit that the title is a bit provocative. If you have established workflows that create our markdown documents, there's no need to immediately throw all of that out of the window, um, but there are strong reasons to switch to Quarto for new projects, certainly, but maybe also the benefits for um, reworking established projects may outweigh um, the cost of switching in, in some cases. So we'll see about that in a moment. I present you with three main reasons why you should switch from our Martin to Quarto. But before I do, set, before I do so, I'll um, include a short comparison of Quarto and our Markdown. Maybe you've seen this image before for our Markdown. Um, the workflow is essentially still the same. The only difference is that now, instead of starting with an RMD file for our Markdown, we start with a QMD file, which is Quarto's file format. So we do get a different file format now. In both cases, at least if you work from within R, um, NITR is the engine that converts the um, initial format to MD, and then this MD markdown format gets passed onto Pandoc, and Pandoc creates the final output format, which can be an HTML document in various formats, a presentation, for example, or a website or a book, um, but it can also be a PDF or a Word document. Right, so seeing this similarity, this essentially unchanged workflow already gives a hint that switching from our markdown to Quarto is at its core not um, too difficult. But there are also some differences. We'll look at them now. I'll start on the right-hand side. So our markdown is based on an R package, our markdown by JJ Alea, Yui Shi, and many others whereas Quarto on the left-hand side is at its core not an R package. So don't get confused. There is an R package called Quarto, but that only serves as a bridge to the command line interface. So Quarto at its core is a separate piece of software, a command line interface. You need to download and install it before you can use it. So you can do so from the Quarto website and it is embedded in and supported by the R Studio IDE, but we'll see in a moment that you can also use it outside of R Studio. It doesn't depend on our studio. Right, so why should, should you switch from our markdown to Quarto? Here are the three main reasons, and then we'll go into a bit more detail. Firstly, and there are many features that you can use in our markdown via extension packages, and Quarto offers these out of the box. Um, so it removes the dependency on extension packages. And in a moment, I'll give you a few examples of that. Second reason is Quarto is multi-language and multi-engine at its core. You may say, if you're focused on R, why should I care? But I'll give you a few good reasons uh, why this is beneficial. And thirdly, seeing the benefits, the cost of switching is comparably small. Um, you'll find that most Markdown in Jupyter Notebooks render immediately with Quarto without needing any modification. In some cases, you may need to make some adaptions, um, but generally, switching is not very costly. So now onto a few more details, features out of the box. So a lot of Markdown um, features require extension packages. So we'll see a few examples. For example, if you want to write a book from within R, you need the book down package. For blogs, you need the blog down package. For scientific publishing, there's the great distill package that offers nice functionality for that. Um, for presentations, I have used Sharingan. There are other presentation formats in our Markdown, but Sharingan has worked very well for me. And I know it was Yehui Shi's favorite, at least before Quarto. And if you wanted to use cross-references in our Markdown, unfortunately, you needed to use bookdown formats. For example, HTML document two instead of HTML document. So that made this a little bit more complicated. Quarto offers the benefit of having all these features implemented out of the box. So it removes the dependency on external R packages. Um, there has been some talk in the R community about dependency hell, so to say. I don't think it's too bad in this R markdown context, but still in open source software engineering, package dependencies can be a hassle. And it's always a good idea if it's easily possible to remove package dependencies. So that's one of the strong points of Quarto. Second, 
Quarto at its core is multi-language and multi-engine. You may say, why should I care? The image that you see here is taken from Nick Tierney. So I encourage you to check out his blog post notes on changing from our markdown or book down to Quarto. Um, I'll also put the link in the description below the video and there's a slide at the end, um, but why should you care? So Quarto comes with no R dependency. You can use it outside of R just fine. From what I have seen, I think it's very likely that Quarto will become the new standard. I'm pretty sure that will happen if it hasn't happened already. So if you want to be up to date, um, it's a good idea to use Quarto. And I think it's for many people working in R and with R Markdown, it's quite likely that sooner or later you will encounter collaborators that work in other languages. And if you do so, then Quarto can be more easily used from other software. It can be called from the command line. As I said, there's no R dependency built into Quarto and it's also um, easier for others to use and lowers the, um, the burden <laughs> to get started um, because it doesn't have the R in, in the um, software name like R Markdown. Also, um, I like to use it from RStudio and I think I will continue to do so, but um, RStudio is not required to enjoy Quarto. You can also um, use it with JupyterLab or with VS Code, for example. A few more words about languages and engines. First about the engines, we've talked about NITAR on a previous slide and we've seen Jupyter and Observable are other engines that are supported by Quarto. And as for the languages, um, so our, um, R is supported by Quarto, but also Python, JavaScript, and Julia. And Quarto is so openly designed that it can work with languages that don't even exist today. So it's more future-proof than R Markdown. Right, and the third and last reason why I think it's a good idea to switch now, switching has small cost associated with it. Depending on your formats, I do admit that some adaptation may be necessary. Um, but you get the benefit of having more consistency. Um, using Quarto, it's easier to switch between different output formats. For example, if you end up writing a book from R um, and you want to switch to a website or to slides, it's easier to do in Quarto. Um, more consistency also means um, you only have one single YAML file, Quarto, YAML in Quarto, whereas in Markdown, using different formats, you would end up having YAML files like Bookdown YAML or Output YAML and so on. Right, so that's basically about the three reasons why I think you should switch to Quarto. I'm really keen to hear and read about your views. Let me know um, what you think, what your experiences are or what's holding you back maybe to, to make the switch. Um, a few more points about my experience and some, some additional benefits. Um, so. I have created quite a few presentations using the combination of R Markdown and sharing in so far, and I have switched to Quarto and um, the JavaScript um, package Reveal.js. So that has worked very well for me. And one um, aspect that I really liked about Quarto and Reveal.js is that layouts are more flexible. For example, if I wanted to use two columns or more than two columns in sharing in, I would end up editing my CSS file, whereas in Quarto, I have this convenient syntax with the three colons to create divs that I really like. So here you can specify a custom column width without having to edit a CSS class. So I really enjoy that. Also tab sets um, work across different HTML output formats in Quarto. So tab sets are a really convenient and powerful tool for presentations or websites, any HTML output formats. Um, I do find them a bit of a hassle for printing. I like to um, still pass on PDF versions of presentations. So that's not so nice with tab sets, but um, support for tab sets across different output formats is better in Quarto than it was in R Markdown. Also in Quarto, it's easier to set global chunk options. Um, maybe you've seen this notation in R Markdown using the ops chunk dollar set function from the knit R package, for example, to specify that code blocks should not be shown by default in the final document, echo equals false. Um, so this is maybe not the most intuitive syntax to write. So in Quarto, you can specify that directly in the YAML header using the execute key and 
um, specifying echo faults in the YAML header. I left out the uh, line breaks in this presentation, but you see the syntax is really simple. Also, in Quarto, it's easier to show code chunks along with the chunk options that you use. That may be nice for teaching purposes, for example. You can specify the echo fenced option, and that was harder to do in our markdown. So that's also something that I have enjoyed using for my workshops. Right. Um, yeah. And last point, last but not least, um, the R Studio slash POSIT team has promised to keep continuing support for our markdown. But what they did not promise is that new features would be implemented in both formats in parallel. So new features may um, be implemented in Quarto, but maybe not in our markdown. So Quarto, in that sense, is also more future proof. So one more reason to to do the switch. Lastly, I just want to point a few to a few resources that I enjoyed. Um, so the main um, starting point is the Quarto website, where you can also download the software. Um, I'm not aware of a full book for Quarto as yet. I'm sure they will pop up. Um, so the best starting point at the moment for documentation is the website. Um, the first time I learned about Quarto was from Alison Hill's post. We don't talk about Quarto until now, so I encourage you to check that out. The link is in the description below the video. There's also a nice blog post by Jumping Rivers, a company that offers R services. I'm an R user Quarto or R Markdown, a nice blog post. The one by Nick Tierney I already mentioned, so I encourage you to check that out. And then not Quarto related, but about um, package dependencies and software dependencies, I encourage you to check out um, slides by Jim Hester called It Depends. So that was one of the benefits of Quarto reducing package dependencies. Yeah, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm really keen to hear and read about your experiences. Um, if you have switched already, if you think about switching or what's holding you back, let me know in the comments. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. All the best for your project. See you next time. Ciao.